Yo guys, it's sorry you already know that today we are back playing some more triangle strategy. I am here with the start of a new session. Um, and this is, you know, probably just becoming YouTube exclusive at this point. Uh, my personal life has been all sorts of messed up between new work schedule. Um, last week my nephew got really, really sick and so I was taking care of him. And then I started to get really sick and so I was taking care of me. And just the timing for streams is just not there right now, at least not consistently. So for consistent playthroughs like this, um, it's, it's just going to be YouTube for now. If that switches in the future, it switches. I'm not going to promise anything. Things change day to day. Um, but yeah, on the last time, I, uh, finished that fight in the mines, which went awfully. Hopefully we can do better today, uh, assuming there's more combat. But we finished the thing in the mines, and then someone mentioned something about a conflict at, uh, at the castle. And I believe we stopped right at the save screen, that's why I'm here. Um, because I think we might get a little bit of a recap as to where we are, because we, I believe, just finished a chapter, and we are now going to start a new chapter. Um, so if that's the case, let's go ahead and just jump right in so we can get caught up on the story. It has been a minute since I played this last, but I am very, very much looking forward, uh, to seeing where we go from here. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm just gonna play this for, like, as long as I feel like, and this will get split up into as many videos as I deem necessary. And that's probably just gonna be how it is, but oh boy, look at all of these. S Frost invades Glenbrook without warning. Wow, that really was without warning. I I need to play this again and see what happens if I go back to S Frost with uh, uh Talus and Erica, I believe her name was, um, instead of going to Hyzant, because that definitely seems like a viable option. I doubt that anything changes in terms of the main story. I assume this still happens, but I need to know how we learn of that thing from from that perspective that just seems super interesting i almost feel like we made the wrong choice i feel like we've missed out on so much stuff coming on the eve of the two nations grand new mining venture the duchy easily rushes into the crown city taking advantage of glenbrook's unprepared defenses yeah how like have they been planning this and like why hmm like obviously so now we know that glenbrook and s frost were enemies in the past so that somewhat makes sense, um, but this seems really out of nowhere. Was there anything that really spurred this on? Maybe it was the fact of Simone's like stepping down and, and Sarah Noah being like the new leader that they were like waiting for that. Um, who knows? There are actually a couple things that could make sense. scattered forces can do nothing to fend off the invaders. Oh man! Hello, we're here to help. and his retinue rush from the mines to King Regna's aid. Slipping past the siege into Whiteholm Castle via the secret passage known only to Prince Roland. That is very convenient. I feel like we're immediately getting into battle. Chapter 5, Encroaching Darkness. Yeah, I think the darkness has encroached. Uh, <laughs> just gonna just gonna put that one out there. I, I'm pretty sure that is some darkness encroaching right here. And we gotta put a stop to it uh, as soon as we can. Oh, boy. Alright, so there's some conflict in these streets. Don't let them get to the castle! Oh, look at that, like, look at those bodies just, like, full in a pile of blood. That's crazy. That armor. The black irons. Esfrost. Esfrost is attacking. Dang. That kind of sucks. What? Why does the duchy march against us? This is a flagrant breach of the treaty. Levy a complaint against Archduke Gustadolf immediately. <laughs> I know it means more than that, but I love it. It's like, file a complaint with their HR department. Tell them that we don't like it, that they invaded us. Um, I know it's not exactly that. I'm sure there's some sort of like coalition of nations that are like, hey, don't break this treaty. If you do, we're going to like all come after you. Um, but I find it really funny. I just want it to be like, Franny's like, put a call into their HR department. We don't like this. I want to speak to S. Frost's manager. <laughs> we must inform his majesty at once yeah yeah i think i think his majesty should know that like you know battle is happening between different nations oh man wow wow wow, wow. come on hold him off or are we gonna get there just in time to save the day i don't know I have a feeling this isn't going to be the only battle with Esfrost. There's no way that it's just one battle and then the game's over. I don't know. 
It is pretty crazy. Ghosted off. What is that bastard scheming? Lord Simo, I bring word from King Merkna. He says, should the crown fall, Glenbrook is in your hands. Why are you whispering? I don't know, I guess it's kind of secret, but I was like, something about this being an announcement, and it sounds like Harold is like very quiet, hush about that. Your Majesty. Fetch my armor! I march to the crown's aid! Oh no, is this where Simon's gonna be at his end? In battle? Please, my lord, at least wait for Lord Sarano and his retinue to return. Out of my way! I pledge my loyalty to his majesty, and it's a vow I intend to... Yeah. Your heart, my lord. Summon a healer, quickly. Yeah, go get one. Quick. Damn it. Death cannot take me yet. Serenoa. Benedict. No, it's definitely coming soon, though. If Simon makes it more than, like, another chapter or two, I will be super shocked. They've been raising death flags since he was introduced. Character stories. All right, character stories are now available on the world map. Cue them to rally new allies uh, to your cause or learn more about those who have already joined you. Ooh, the characters rally to your cause are influenced by Serenova's conviction. The strength of your bond with an ally depends on the number of times that character has been deployed in battle. Some character stories may not be available right away depending on your progress in the main story. Okay, that seems pretty neat. Uh, so there are two character stories. Obviously, we're going to have to at least do one to see what they're about. Um, so we have, these people do not look, uh, like people I've met before. All right, so what do we have? A serious looking youth with a thoughtful demeanor comes to Serenoa in company with news from the Crown City. Uh, and then a boy in Strange Guard comes to speak with Serenoa, claiming to be the grandson of the Archmage Grandant. All right, so this would probably be a mage character. I feel like character, like, uh, battle-wise, another mage character would be cool. But this character's design makes me a lot more interested in what they have to offer. I'm just going to go with the first one, and I'm going to hope that we have the chance to recruit both of them. But let's see what these character stories are about, because this is new to me. Thank you for agreeing to see me. My name is Julio. Julio? Okay, so not Julio. We got Julio Reitman, once a, an officer in service of the crown. Hatchrat recruited him as an assistant uh, upon learning of his clerical abilities. Ooh, a clerical ability. Another healer, maybe? This could have been a good move. We could definitely use a second healer in case, you know, our main healer gets killed in battle. Not that I would ever let that happen or anything. So, you're looking to pledge your service to us, eh? You tell me you're from the Crown City. Something happened to drive you our way? What could have ever happened? I'm afraid so. Nah, nothing happened. There is no war in Bossing, say. Shortly before S Frost attack on Whitehome Castle. Why have you brought me all the way to this place? Whatever it is you wish to speak about, I should hope it is important. I am a busy man. Ah, uh, yes, wouldn't want to disturb you, Pat Rat. It is indeed. It concerns the Grand Norzellian mining venture. Pardon me if I'm being presumptuous, but I came across a most curious thing when I was reviewing the particulars of the arrangement the other day. There were documents that I did not recall having seen before. Specifically, documents pertaining to the compensation of the workers contracted to transport the iron out of the mine. Oh? Is that so? Following the paper trail, I could not help but notice that a not insignificant amount of coin had made its way through paths most circuitous and befuddling into your hands. No. Patra doing something, uh, not something great. Something looked at a glance, but my eyes are sharper than most. No doubt you have a logical explanation for this? I haven't need to explain it. Even if I were guilty of whatever it is you have the gall to accuse me of, there is not you can do about it. Let's get a look at you again. Ah, uh, yes, that is a face of, a, of an innocent man if I've ever seen one, especially in a game design, like, you know. It's one thing to judge a book by its cover when they're real people. It's a, it's a different story when they're, you know, fictional characters. And, uh, I've seen enough fictional media to not trust that face. With Prince Franny's full backing. Not Franny. You would claim that his highness is complicit in this? The high and mighty are always scratching each other's backs. Everyone knows that. Everyone, it would seem, but you. 
Ew. You suck. <laughs> Crown Prince would be party to such corruption. Has our kingdom truly sunk so low? Maybe. It would fall on your head should word of this get out. Considering the nature of the crime, I shudder to think of the punishment. Wow, and then just threatening him? Luckily for you, I've every intention of keeping this matter between us, so long as you don't go running your mouth. Why? I'll even toss in some coin to sweeten the deal. Nah, he's immediately going to come running his mouth to me. A fair enough bargain, wouldn't you say? Coin? I spit on your coin. Ooh, take that. I will not remain silent. I cannot. I will root out the rot of corruption that plagues our realm, no matter what it may cost me. Yo, I like Julio already. You stubborn, self-righteous fool. I'd hope to settle this as reasonable adults, but it would seem that... Ooh? Ooh, you trying to fight? Sound the alarm! The kingdom is under attack! Oh! Okay, and Yulia was probably able to make it out because, uh, Patrat has to, has to deal with the, uh, incoming attack. Okay, okay. What's this? Get out of my way, old man. All right, all right. Interesting. Needless to say, the circumstances make my return to the Crown City impossible. Pray allow me to be of service here. Yeah. Ah, now it's coming back to me. You were Sir Maxwell's second in command during the tourney, weren't you? Oh, okay. You didn't stand out much, but you held your own well enough. Aye, I, I reckon we could find use for him yet. I think so as well. Be welcome among us. Eridor, see that our new friend gets settled in. Thank you, my lord. You have my word that I will serve you well. Yay, we got Yulio. What can you do? Are we going to get the little spiel that tells us what you do? A master of tactics and TP grants TP to allies and lowers the TP of enemies. That is an interesting strategical thing to consider. I don't know how, how useful it's going to be, but I think it could be really interesting. Um... Like, pairing up, like, Yulio being able to give extra TP to, like, Roland, who can then do that, like, rush thing that costs three, like, TP, that's pretty interesting. And could be really, really good. So, okay. Not bad at all. We'll see how we can implement that in battle. Let's see if we can immediately go to the other character story. Yes, we can. Uh, because I want more character stories. Also, though, this is not immediately going to combat, so we will see about that. Uh, I'm gonna do this other character story, and then I want to see if maybe there's like a new mock battle or something we can do, and then we'll continue the main story. We'll see. Let's let's learn about another new character. Okay, so it seems like uh, we don't have to put in more work to get these characters. It's like these are characters that are available to us based on the decision that we've made in the past. This is the encampment of House Wolfort. Splendid, for it's Lord Wolfort himself that I came to see. Lead me to him, my good man. Oddly dressed youth. <laughs> Big words from a shady-looking fellow in that ridiculous garb. Be gone at once. Ridiculous? Why, I'll have you know that these robes are a treasured relic of... Did I ask about your robes? I said, be gone. The root. Wait, I say, who there? Lord Wolford, can you hear me? What's all the commotion here? This strange lad demands an audience with you, Lord Saranoa, and stubbornly refuses to leave. But what? The name's Narv. Narv, okay. Interesting. A young man who calls himself the grandson and last disciple of the Archmage Grandon. He has joined House Wolford in the hopes of restoring his late grandfather's honor. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Grandson and last disciple of the Archmage Grandante. Here to offer Grandante. Okay, do we have any thoughts on that? The Archmage Grandante. Forgive me, but in all my years of studying the arcane arts, I've Ooh. never once heard that name. That's probably not a good sign. You haven't? Oh, I see. I suppose you won't have. Ah, I'm sorry if I offended you. You needn't apologize, miss. Let's start over, shall we? Let me show you just what the final disciple of the Archmage Grandate can do. Whoa. Oh, okay. We are getting an actual demonstration. Ooh, is that wind magic? 
Ooh. I think wind magic is pretty sick. There's another type of magic that we haven't uh run into yet as well, I'm pretty sure. What do you think? I don't remember what kind it was. I've never seen anything quite like it. Were you born with magic like this? Or perhaps my illustrious grandfather, the Archmage Grand Dante, that is, taught me all I know. Okay. Please, let me join your army. I'm most certain my sorcery could avail you to no end. Lord Saranoa, this boy possesses remarkable talent. I must admit, he would make a formidable addition to our forces. Dude, I immediately caught it just based on the two profiles of both the characters and the slight descriptions. The, I, I said this character I'm going to be more interested in as a unit in combat and the other one yulio i was going to be more interested in as a character and i turned out to be right about both because i i think yulio is a way more interesting character and narv is going to be a super cool unit to use in battle so i'm i'm excited about both of them for different thank reasons you, narv i welcome you to house wolfort thank you my lord my magic will change the world just do wait and see all right we got narv Anything special or just like wind magic, wind variations of the of the fire stuff? Uh versatile mage and master of the elements, cast spells of every element. Change enemies' orientation with wind ma magic. Interesting. That doesn't seem quite as straightforward as just like wind magic attacks. We'll have to see how that works in combat. I don't know if you can like change like weaknesses and stuff like that or not. I don't, I don't know how that works, but uh we'll we'll see as we try that out. And I'm gonna see if we get a chance to try it out. Oh, there's another thing up here. Okay, let me let me see. Uh, I do want to do that first, just in case it leads to anything more. Invasion of the Crown City reaches Silvio of House Telior. Yeah, let's 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 hear about this. I want as much information about like the world and everything happening as I can right now. There's a lot to process. The Crown City is under attack. By whom? All right, Silvio, let's get a look at you. Oh, you look uh. Pretty incompetent. Uh, the Lord of House Telior, one of Glenbrook's high houses, its distant domain lacks the fighting power of the other two houses, but has been entrusted with safeguarding the kingdom's precious reservoir. Okay. As Ross to the peers, they say the Archduke himself leads the charge. Gustadov, then this will be no mere skirmish. What shall we do, my lord? Hmm, what will they do? Protecting the royal family is House Warford's duty. Let us bide our time and see how they fare. You would not make for the capital, my lord? Why, is that going to help? Very fate hangs in the balance. Well, do they have to protect something here, or are they just supposed to, like, help out? Because they have to protect something here, I get it. why we must not act rashly. Estros is too strong a foe for House Teliard to face on our own. For now, tighten our defenses and bring me what information you can. Yes, my lord. They're probably gonna make him out to be like this is the wrong decision, but like, given what little information he has, I actually don't think he's like necessarily in the wrong. Like in hindsight, he might end up being wrong, but like depending on what the sort of situation of things that he has to defend here, um, without that much information to go off of, he, I, I like I understand the decision that he's making uh, anyway. But based on his design, I feel like they're trying to make him out to to be like oh he's just making a dumb decision, but I, I don't know. Without all the information, I'm not ready to jump to that conclusion yet. But who knows? All right, so that was a that was the the right decision to do because there was not that much there. Um, let's go into the encampment. I want to see. Also, I just realized that we have some some money to spend potentially. I I want to see if there's any mock battles for us to participate in. Um, there's also just like more people. Let me get like a refresh on like all the different options that we have. Uh, this is the the trade post for this. Okay, right. And there's this. We could buy one of these. Uh, but. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I would have two quietest points, so I could get one of these. Grants the currently acting unit a guaranteed critical hit. Cover and allies HP by 50%, healer status. I think I like this critical blow because sometimes you really just need that extra thing just to like really do an enemy in. I'm gonna buy this. I think that's pretty good. I don't think we can promote classes yet. Uh, People need to be at, like, level 10 and stuff first. Um, so that is still out of our, uh, our realm of possibilities right now. Um, what do you have? Hey, you're the merchant. 
I can buy... I definitely do need some more recovery stuff, actually. Um, Thunderstone. Thunder magic is the other type of magic that I was thinking about. Uh, okay, I don't think I need... Oh, actually, you know, some of these rings would be good. Ooh. I kind of want to get a magic ring for Frederica. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one. Um, yeah. Where are you, Frederica? You're, you're gonna get a magic ring. Instead of spending all my money, I want to go see, uh, who's the one that, like, upgrades the, the classes or whatever? Oh, that's the weapons. Yeah, yeah, you upgrade, but, like, you need iron. All right, the ones that are lit up probably can be upgraded. Yeah, okay. Let's see, we have upgrades for Gila, for Huet. Um, I don't know how much of these things we need. Weapon potency by five. I like that. I do like that. I'm actually going to... I'm going to upgrade that. I wanted to save some of this money just for some of these upgrades. Uh, we can probably upgrade... Eridor, Quarantine. I don't want to increase anything from Yulia or Narvia without knowing what they need uh, more of. Um, More damage. I just like more damage. That's just like my favorite thing. And now we don't have enough money for more rings and stuff. Uh, so there is that. Physical defense. Strength. Um, Strength I want would be pretty good. But yeah, let's just give you a strength. I kind of want to, like, not ride the same thing. I don't know what, like, the best objective thing to do is. So I'm just kind of spreading it around and doing what feels right. Um, Alright, so we're not going to be able to buy any more cool stuff. Did you have any more? You're just, like, here chilling out, right? Forever grateful to be in your service. Yeah, yeah. So these are all the people that we just sort of kind of recruited. Lord Sir, no, I cannot thank you enough for letting me join your house after all the shouting I did. I was able to talk uh, to a lot of different people here and it made me realize that none of them have ever heard my grandfather's name. Uh, that's why I have to work harder than I have before. Then everyone in Norzelia will have to acknowledge his name. As the last disciple of the Archmage Grand Dante, I swear it. All right. So everybody that like was not a part of the main cast also just kind of hangs out here, it seems like. Uh, and that goes for you as well. Thanks for allowing me in your service, Lord Sir Noah. Can I help but wonder what would have become of me had the duchy not attacked? I do not think I could have found the strength to do what I believe to be right uh, had I remained in the Crown City. This war has changed everything for me. I swear I shall endeavor to make House War 4 proud. Very nice, very nice. Is there a mock battle that we can do? Got some stuff that needs taken care of? Yeah, you're up to it. There is a fair fight. Alright, cool. You face an enemy force with a balance of both melee and ranged fighters. Use your troops wisely to carve your way to victory. I want a little bit of combat experience for our new units. Um, as well as some combat to break a lot of the, the, the story stuff, especially since the next main story thing isn't even a combat. We'll have this combat, we'll have some more story stuff, and then that will take us into a main story combat, I assume, um, at some point. So let's fight a, a fair fight. 